Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about three things which will help keep your day-to-day -day practice pain-free. Are you ready for this? Oh. Oh. As a professional musician, I have spent countless hours practicing, and part of the danger in practicing three to four hours a day is the creeping in of poor posture or bad habits in the physical support of our instrument, which can cause long-term damage to our bodies. I find that there are two main issues which can cause pain for a bassoonist, the first being related to the weight and balance of the instrument, and the other being related to our general posture while playing. As a bassoonist, my left hand can develop pain over time as I not only use all five digits to play, but it also holds the instrument upright. Whether or not I'm sitting or standing, I'm always making sure that the instrument is angled at less than a 45 degree uh, from the vertical plane in both directions. That way my hand doesn't have to carry this significant amount of the weight of the instrument while playing. This is an important point, especially for modern players with the newer thick wall instruments, which can be pretty hefty. If you feel that this technique isn't doing enough to take the weight off of your hands, then consider having a balance hanger installed, which will lower the center of gravity on the instrument and take some pressure off of the left hand. Whether you're playing more often sitting or standing, it's important that you have a reliable and comfortable harness, actually possibly two, one for each situation. While you might want to be thrifty and go for the cheapest strap out there, this is an area where you shouldn't, um, shouldn't be saving. Some straps can be so flimsy that you wonder if they might break under the weight of a heavy bassoon. <laughs> And there are many good options available for standing. I'll list a few of them in the, in the description of this episode, but it won't be comprehensive. If you haven't got a standing strap for yourself yet, then try whatever your teacher or colleague, friends, students are using before buying something, if that's of course possible. As the vast majority of the performing work we do is spent sitting down, making sure that the weight and balance of the bassoon is kept off our hands is key. We also want the instrument to be as stable as possible. Uh, it seems almost redundant for me to recommend using a seat strap as it is by far the most common harness in use by bassoonists, but I've personally found it quite surprising to see many professionals here in Europe using body harnesses while seated. And this is by no means a problem, but ultimately the weight of the bassoon is still being held by their body, which isn't the case with a seat strap. Using a seat strap allows the bassoon's weight mainly to balance against the right leg while the left hand still acts as stabilization. An ideal setup takes as much of the weight from the bassoon leaning across the body as possible. The bassoon will still lean forwards, however, which depending on how heavy your particular bassoon may be, as well as how strong your left hand is, it could still be a problem. The seat strap is also very important as it fixes the bassoon in place, allowing you to set and keep excellent posture. Having good posture is so important not only to develop a great sound and to have good air support, but to prevent long-term muscle or tendon issues and pain. Today I'm going to focus on two things here relating to playing while seated, as there are many other resources online to help you understand good standing posture. You've probably, if you have a teacher, have worked on that. In general, you want as much as possible to simulate the sensation of standing while seated. Effectively, this will mean that you want your back to stay straight while seated and not let the base of your spine curl forwards. To help keep good posture, it's paramount that you have a great chair to sit on. If you can't keep good posture in the chair you're currently using, you may begin to unconsciously compensate for it. You'll notice this after an hour or two that your body will have pain in certain areas. About a year ago, I practiced for four hours a day over the course of three or four months in a bad chair, and I always finish the sessions mentally and physically exhausted with pain in my upper back and in my neck. That all changed when I bought a chair built specifically for musicians. Now, most professional orchestras and top music schools have purpose-built chairs which help support good posture while seated. Here in Switzerland, a chair you often find is made by Wilde und Spiet, and it's fantastic. 
It's not cheap though, and you have to buy through a distributor. I used their musician's chair, the link is below, and it really changed how I work. I have no more back or neck pain, and I never have to take a moment to find the, the sweet spot in the chair when I can get the best air support. Better put on a pot of coffee, Marge. This could take a while. Obviously, this isn't an option available to everyone. It costs around 600 US dollars, and I had to wait 10 weeks for it to be delivered. So use the following points when searching for your own practice chair. Don't use a chair with wheels. The seat of the chair should not be higher at the front and angle downwards towards the back. It should be flat or maybe even raised at the back and angle downwards towards the front. You should feel as if you can sit up straight without exerting yourself. Your feet should be able to sit flat on the floor with your knees bent at pretty much a 90 degree angle. Now, if you do a lot of freelancing and play on many different kinds of chairs, or if you just want to get a slight improvement from your chair at home, I recommend getting yourself a wedge cushion made from memory foam. I've used one for years and it has been crucial in giving me some support when playing in community halls or churches with really terrible seating options. Now, when it comes to these products like harnesses and seating options, they are going to be different solutions for everyone, as we aren't all built the same and we don't necessarily have access to the same products or equipment. However, of paramount importance is that we choose something that feels right. So if you're on the hunt for a chair, bring your bassoon with you, set yourself up in every option. You're not really going to know how it feels unless you try it for yourself. So that's it for me. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you want to support this channel, then please consider becoming a patron via Patreon. And don't forget to share and like and subscribe. So take it easy. Bye-bye.